right, folks, here we go. Laminia Mall. I'm not gonna lie, this was not easy. This was my second attempt, but it's the best one I've made so far. So I upgraded his look, I upgraded his stats. His overall is a 73. And there's a new animation that works perfectly with the running style of Laminia Mall. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So first name Lamin, the last name Yamal. So commentary name is in the game as Lamin. The kit name, he uses both Lamin Yamal on the back side he's currently sporting the kit number 27 he's from spain i know he's he's also from morocco but it is rumored that he will be playing for spain team fc barcelona his birth year is not 2005 but as you can see here that is the limit it is july 13th though so he's 5'11 143 pounds his position is forward right wing and he's left footed. So before we move forward, please help out this channel by liking and subscribing and make sure you stick to the end because we're going to go over the updated attributes. Now the head. First thing you want to do of the three levels of tone and complexion, you want to choose the second one. That would be the first row, second column. Moving on to the brows, we got the first row, second to last column. The color, very first one, dark brown. Let's take a look at the morph. Under the morph, you can see the details right there highlighted. And for the eyes, that would be the second row. If you count one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth to last, from right to left. The color would be the second to last color. You wanna get the darkest color possible. And under the morph, take a look at the details right there let me highlight there you go right there all right for the nose we have the second row first column same as the previous creation under morph you can see here the highlights the details all right let's move on the mouth that would be the second row last column and here you can see the detail. Moving on to the cheeks and jaw, that would be the second row, second column. Another update here, that would be the details. You're also gonna wanna adjust the fullness. That would be over here. And you can see the details there. All right. The chin. Same as before, that would be the first row, third column. There are changes to the morph though. You can see the details right there. The ears, another update. That would be the second row, last column. Under the morph. You're gonna wanna edit the details just like that. You're also going to want to change the size. Let's move down here. And there you can see the details. Now the hair, same as before. That would be the second row. You can see here it's the fourth to last one from right to left. Under the color, same color. This would be towards the end. You see you have the black, you have the gray, and then you have like the really dark brown. But you see it kind of has the blondish highlights that he has. You want to pick that one and very easy on their facial hair there is none so let's go ahead and move on to the kit the kit fit the waist is untucked the kit sleeves that would be short the jersey fit is on normal fit now the boots and accessories i have highlighted the one he used to have but you know what he actually is wearing these ones right here these are his new kits. Good thing I caught that. Let's zoom in. Yeah, those are the ones he's currently wearing right now. So that's very cool. They have it in the game. Now for the gloves and wrists, there's absolutely nothing you have to apply here. All right, let's move on to animations. So on goal celebrations, I have set that on random because we haven't really seen him score too many goals yet, but he's getting close. And on the set piece style, I set it on default. And the penalty kick style, I also set it on default. I know there's like a whole bunch available. If you guys have a better suggestion, please let me know. However, I do have a major upgrade here on his running style. 
we went from T-Rex and we have now switched over to the Medalist, which is a brand new animation. And that is how he runs. So that's perfect timing. All right, let's move on to the attributes. On attack, you got the crossing, that's set to 76. The finishing, that's set to 66. Heading accuracy, that's 57. Short passing, that would be 76. Volleys are set to 57. And the weak foot ability, that would be set to three. Defending, the standing tackle is set to 22. And the sliding tackle is set to 21. Skill, dribbling, that would be 74. Curve, 69. Free kick accuracy, 59. Long passing, set that to 66. Ball control, 71. Now, power, the shot power, 69. Jumping is set to 56. Stamina, 57. Strength, 59. Long shots, that's set to 68. Movement, acceleration is set to 78. And his sprint speed is set to 74. Agility, 76. Reactions, 73. Balance, that's set to 67. Mentality, aggression is set to 57. Interceptions, 19. Positioning, 72. Vision, 70. And penalties are set to 50. All right, finally, we got the diving on the goalkeeper, that's set to nine. The handling, that's also set to nine. Goalkeeper kicking, that's 12. Goalkeeper positioning, that's set to 10. And goalkeeper reflexes, that is set to nine. So that's gonna do it. I hope you enjoy. So make sure you subscribe and like. I'm gonna be using them for my career mode. You can find the first six episodes on the lower left. My very next episode is gonna be on FC24. I'll put that on the right once it's available. But in the meantime, feel free to check out my other content. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You guys take care and have a good one.